While the previous two episodes had 17 cards each to cover, this episode has 26. I'm not going to do too much for the opener other than today's set review episode looks at the remaining spirits of the 10 legendary warriors. But Bandai also threw in some flavor here too with not just the human, beast, and ancient forms, but their level 3s and 5s as well. And for some, even a level 2. Kozenimon was the only level 2 that did not seem to have a place when I was breaking down the cards. And at this point with Zenimon, I just assumed that because they're metal-based Digimon, they go here. So starting with the Steel Elements, Kozenimon is a level 2 that all turns, once per turn when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, draw 1. At some point, Bandai, you're going to have to give some generic draw power to Black. Someday. With Zenimon, this Digimon is the second variant of memory blocking for Black. One upgrade from Chumon, though, is the DP body size. Considering a majority of effects in this set are memory gained from Tamers, it's not as useful, but still could be useful for Black decks now that they have so many Floodgate options. That aside, Mercurymon is the newest Black hybrid and yes, it maintains its consistency in its original color. On play and when Digivolving, until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent's effects can't return this Digimon to the hand or deck. Kind of nice. This Digimon can also slide Evo from Sephirothmon for a cost of zero, and has an inheritable that gives a plus 2000 DP on the opponent's turn. Sephirothmon, the Beast Spirit, has the same inheritable, but allows you to on play and when Digivolving, place one level 4 or lower card with the hybrid trait other than Sephirothmon from Hand or Trash as the bottom Digivolution card to activate one on play effect on the place card as the effect of this Digimon. And believe me, there are a lot of hybrids with on play effects moving forward. But since you can also utilize level 3s, this also adds extra searching. Wisemon, the level 5 form, isn't a hybrid itself, but it has blocker and an on play when digivolving effect that reveals the top 5 cards of either player's deck, then returns the revealed cards to the top or bottom of the deck. Gleaning the top can be nice, especially if you end up going black base Gigimon. Ancient Wisemon on play, and when digivolving allows you to play one black card with a play cost of 7 or less without paying the cost, and then trashing the rest. When this Digimon would leave, you may return one black level 4 or lower Digimon from the sources to your hand, or play one card without paying the cost. For floating reasons, I like this card as well in Sealed. And of course, like the other Ancients, you can Digicross with Mercury and Sephirothmon. Shadow Seraphimon Ace is the last card to discuss with Mercurymon, as Mercurymon defeated Seraphimon and then goes into this form in the series. It has the normal Blast Digivolution requirements and overflow costs for level 6, but also provides a blocker and an on-play when digivolving effect that de-digivolves 3 on one of your opponent's Digimon. Additionally, when an attack target is changed, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5000 DP for the turn. Since BT16, I feel like all the Ace Digimon have specific situations, and this one combines elements of Vikemon Ace, Mega Gargomon Ace, and Valkyriemon Ace. This card is especially nasty in the upcoming format with Black Blocker Mother Reaper. That aside, let's change gears and move to the Spirits of Earth. Goblimon is the non-canon Digimon for Grumblemon as a level 3, and simply on play deletes one of your opponent's Digimon with 2000 DP or less. A Floodgate Killer, perhaps? Pretty simple. Grumblemon, like all human spirits, can slide Evo from its beast form for zero. This Digimon has a when digivolving on play effect that deletes one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. The Inheritable is a when attacking, once per turn effect that deletes one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So basically, Earth is all about small body removal. Gigasmon has the same Inheritable, but its on play and when attacking effect gives one of your Digimon rush for the turn. But Volcanomon, yet another non canon level 5, has a when digivolving effect that lets you blitz and a win attacking effect that gives you plus 2000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. For a pseudo 11,000 DP body, that's kind of nice, especially in Sealed. The Ancient Volcano Mon can digicross from Grumblemon and Gigasmon, and has an identical all turns effect to Ancient Wisemon. The on play and when digivolving effect simply deletes all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. In Sealed, I love this. Removal is always great. Shifting from steel and earth to water, Lanamon's level 3 appears to be Sayakomon for this set. This Digimon is a vanilla Digimon with a simple special ruling of being the aquatic type. Though there's not much else to say, other than this is the only Digimon so far that has a play cost of 2 in the set. 
Wanamon also returns in its same color identity, with an on-play when digivolving effect that reveals the top three cards. Among them, you can add one with the Aqua or Sea Animal in one of its traits to the hand, and place one as the bottom Digivolution card of any of your blue Digimon. The rest get bottom decked. Considering this adds more to Aegistramon, Jumbo Gammon, and even Shang Pangmon, there's a lot of application for this, especially as we get more Digimon in this specific archetype. Which, Calmeramon also slides back for a cost of one, which is consistent with all the hybrids so far. This Digimon also has an on play, and when Digivolving effect where if a level 3 Digimon card is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you return one level 4 or lower Digimon card to the hand. If a level 3 Digimon card is not in the sources, you may place one from your hand as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Both have when attacking effects that when attacking, once per turn you may return one level 3 Digimon to the hand. On the bright side, it makes it so that you can deal with floodgates preemptively that may prevent you from playing Digimon by card effect. Moving to the level 5s, not a hybrid, but Mermaidmon returns and has a win attacking effect that lets you play one blue level 3 Digimon card or one tamer from the Digivolution cards without paying the cost. Meaning if you drop out a tamer like Joe Kido or Tamihimi, you can trigger their effects to trash Digivolution sources. However, in the sealed setting of all the level 5s, I probably love Volcano Mon the most. As for Ancient Mermaid Mon, the Digicross elements and playing a level 4 or lower Digimon card or returning one to your hand are all consistent with these Ancients. However, this Digimon has an on play and when Digivolving effect that returns one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to the hand. For each of your other Digimon, you add one to the maximum level this effect can return. The removal's light, but it's still removal. This also forces you to play a little bit differently in not relying on stack builds, but building wide. But now it's time to finish up the spirits with the Spirit of Wood. Starting with Pomumon, this Digimon has an all turns effect that while this Digimon is suspended, all of your Digimon get plus 1000 DP. Still doesn't seem enough though for vegetation type Digimon. As for Arbormon, this Digimon is still consistent with all the other hybrids but is different in its effects, which on play and when digivolving, you may suspend one of your green Digimon to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. But it's inheritable, simply suspends an opponent's Digimon. Conveniently, it also now offers a vegetation trait now in its card text, which makes it much better than the old variant because you can now utilize this with Mimi Tachikawa. Still, I've grown to dislike green's removal aspects because they're virtually non-existent. With Petaldramon, this Digimon has the same inheritable as Arbormon, but has an on-play and when Digivolving effect that allows you to unsuspend one of your level 4 or lower Digimon with the vegetation or plant in one of its traits. Combine this with Arbormon, and you can suspend itself to suspend, then go into Petaldramon for 1 to unsuspend it. The downside? That's a 3-memory play which isn't value in my mind at all. Entmon provides a reduced Digivolution cost by 2 when you would digivolve into a level 6 Digimon with the vegetation or plant in its traits. Unfortunately, this doesn't help Bloom Lordmon or Rosemon because they are fairy types. But Ancient Troymon? Hey, let's go! Despite the Spirits of Wood having arguably the weakest effects, the Ancient variant has probably one of the strongest ones. This Digimon has an all turns once per turn effect in which when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, you trash their top security card. While the Digicross from Arbormon and Petaldramon could be done, and this Digimon could recover a green level 4 or lower Digimon card to hand, or play one, the build-up to this does not feel like enough of a payoff. But we'll see soon enough what we can do. While I've concluded the basics of steel, earth, water, and wood, the corrupted spirit of darkness still needs to be discussed. Duskmon has identical cost to Loimon, but unlike Loimon, is stronger only has one color, and the evil cost from its beast spirit is one. On play and when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, change one of their Digimon or Tamers into a color other than white. This will be a huge visual indicator problem that will need to be represented somehow, because this can cut off Digivolution for certain Digimon assuming they don't have that special black box text. Likewise, it has the same when attacking effect that lets you Digivolve into a card, However, this time it's only a level 4 hybrid and it's traced from your trash, with the Digivolution cost reduced by 1. This is another change that cuts you off from going into level 5, but is more so for its slight evolution into a beast spirit. 
The inheritable is simply on deletion, you may play one tamer with a play cost of 4 or less from your trash without paying the cost. There's so much you can do here because the tamer, again, is generic. By attacking, you can slide Evo into Valgmon. On play and when digivolving for each color among your opponent's Digimon and tamers, you trash the top card of both decks. Then this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for each card trashed by this effect for the turn. If your opponent had every color, red, blue, yellow, green, black, purple, and white, both players would trash 7 cards each, and this Digimon would be 21,000 DP. Unlikely to ever happen, but the thought of that amount of buff is absolutely hilarious. The inheritable, of course, is simply retaliation. And while the human and beast spirits were featured in Frontier, like the other spirits, it felt like Bandai was hinting at canon Digivolution lines for this Digimon as well. With Oboromon, this level 5 undead Digimon digivolves from a level 4 for a cost of 3. On play and when digivolving, delete one red, green, purple, or white level 4 or lower Digimon. Then delete one blue, yellow, black, or white tamer with a play cost of 3 or less. Can we deny that this isn't canon or remotely relates to Duskmon? I think not. Finally, Zambamon is the last card to go over for this video. A level 6 Digimon that when any of your Digimon would Digivolve into this card, for each color in your opponent's trash, reduce the Digivolution cost by 1. This is crazy in my mind because this could be a 1 cost or even 0 cost Digivolution Digimon. But there's actually a lot more to this as well. Your turn for every two colors in your opponent's trash. This Digimon gains Security Attack plus 1 and gets plus 2000 DP. Of all the level 6s I've read, this is the most aggressive one for Sealed and if you find this, I'd probably use it. But now with the corrupt spirits of darkness and the remaining spirits of the 10 legendary warriors, where to next? The allies and enemies of Digimon Frontier, of course. What are your thoughts on the sideline spirits, and do some of them bring value to decks you're currently playing? Let me know, and I'll catch you tomorrow on the next episode. This is Digipanda, logging out.